Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We're coming towards the end of our time in Raccoon City. Hello Nikolai. How you doing? You got a headache? I've got a cure for that right here. Can't remember if they appeared here or later, or on harder difficulties. Right, yeah, you're, you're at work. Down you go, please. We can get through there just fine. All right. Uh, no, I'll leave it up. Oh no, there is something I need to get, I just remembered. There's a case there. All of it. Uh. Oh, magnum bullets. That's 
one thing. Can I see how some hit? Just you in there. <sighs> ah, yes, health. Thank you. Should just be one more fuse, and the area should all be blue. Hopefully, anyway. Shots than usual. Right, what have we got here? Employee memo. September 12th. Admitted to N2, male 45, female 32. Discarded male 60, female 89. Uh, male 55, 51. Returned female 8, uninfected. Blimey. Discarded six male specimens, nine female specimens. Disposals trending upwards daily. Preemptively dispose of any over 30 years of age. September 24th, nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admissions to underground facility temporarily halted. Shells. Just bloody healed, bastard. All right, here goes. Good area, all blue. Should have kept those herbs with me. Never mind. We're going back there. Shit. 
He got away. Well, he wasn't exactly going to hang around for us, was he? Uh, where's the magnum? There it is. We'll get this out now and the mag ammo. Alright. That room should be clear, yes. Unfinished activity log. 1300 hours. Infiltrated Raccoon City. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. 1930 hours. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. 1200. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines to campus. 64 inf 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. 2300 hours. Successfully rendezvous with Mikhail Victor's platoon will make first attempt at dawn. 4.30 Diverted pack toward command post result night, sk result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. 8, Eight in the morning. End of skirmish. 7 survivors. 1800 Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. 2000. Got eyes on two stars, a male, infected, and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Midnight. Female. Jill Valentine has made contact with Macau Victor Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behaviour are consistent with Project N. Investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Video attached. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by commanding officer... Oh no, by Carlos Oliveira, a soldier in Macau Victor's platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. strike if and this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch how long do we have hours maybe then let's not waste one more second this way oh my god we'll find the vaccine up ahead I know you do, Tyrell. Right. Let's get this done. You're all right, mate. You're good in my book. Shit. 
Okay, here we are. Nest 2. Because Umbrella is so imaginative when it comes to naming their bases. Nest 2, Employee Regulations. The objective of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative to, that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be, will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honour to be a part of the finest research organisation in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, I've got a map as well. Uh, you? Where's the other... There it is. Oh, now I get a head pop. Thank you. Dick. Isaac's Graves Diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research for a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America it was a golden opportunity like winning the lottery so I went for it I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City well hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible it's messed up the world needs to know but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this test let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Uh, Isaac. Is that enough of a, of a redemption, though? You were still complicit in the experiments, regardless. Essay on Vaccine Synthesis by Dr. Nathaniel Bard. To most, to most efficiently to most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and adjuvant, adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining examples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine based with our propriety equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. 
This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Let's see. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Alright, gotta figure this out. Yes, you do, Jill. Yes, you do. Is there anything else here? Don't think so. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key. A news dongle. Flash drive, apparently. Magnum out. Deal with these pale heads. Override complete. You're not a pale head, I'm not gonna waste a magnum shot on you. Stuck. Shit. There we go. Shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis. Shipping route. CDG JFK RC. Right. So the furnace has this material additional notes. All transit within the United States is to be made by a helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and processes in, and possesses incredible destructive power. So please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frankel. I see you. Scientist dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I am to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I, I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. And I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Indeed, sunny boy. Ooh, acid round. <sighs> so it's clear. This must be what powers it. It is indeed. Thank you. 
So all I wanted is a nice head pop. <coughs> ones by the looks of it. For me, fair enough. What the f Thank you. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval, uh, disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites. You are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. <laughs> I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for, for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. <laughs> uh, Americans think they can make cars bless. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt they've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. What a dick. So it's called the Nemesis. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Correct. I read the I read the file too, Jill. You don't need to reiterate. Ah, I saw that. That I checked. I thought I was going to miss that. Right, let's get the old shotgun equipped.
fucker, stop moving around. I thought only two of you jumped out. Oh, my damn shotgun shells are gone now. I might be okay though. Weaponry authorization request. Do Dear Dr. Emerson, I'd like I would like to form your request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapons synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not represent the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry author authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our teams refer to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with, with regularity, but the specific course has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes them difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that that high powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping Processing Manager Gabrielle Reed. Was that you? Sorry Gabs. Hi friend, saw your cousin in the other lab not too long ago. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. And now we have the vaccine. I'm going to ignore you. You're you're not going to be much of a threat to me. <coughs> Excuse me. made and then we can all live happily ever after oh no that wasn't the other way around mid high life it was that way around I realise I've switched costumes. Never mind. I was playing on another save, I didn't think it, the switching costumes affected both saves. It's annoying. How's that only just occurred to me? There we go. Let's, let's fix that. He 
just will not take no for an answer, will it? Come on, Jill, let's go, 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 go. Items. Uh, make more shotgun shells or more magnum bullets. Uh, I'll probably ditch the shotgun now and switch back to the grenade launcher. What's this? Disposal center. This facility is to be used for the dis dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please allow all safe please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal centre. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent regardless of the volume of mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the process, disposal process. Leave the chamber filled, filled for at least 12 hours and then check for complete dissolution before draining. Lovely. Alright. Ditch those. Get rid of you. Get the grenade launcher back. Keep the handgun with me. Take some health just in case, and I think we are good. Nine rounds. Let's put the explosives in. Just in case. <coughs> what in God's name is this place? It's the disposal facility, Jill. We just read about it. Do keep up. Everything is set. <coughs> Hi. I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dart. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Dick. I really like what they've how they've done Nikolai in this. I just wish we got to see more of him. Nice of Nemesis to wait so patiently for us, though. Come on, Jill.
Oh, Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Dodge not dodging! Oh, come on! God damn it. Uh, well, let's get rid of the acid rounds since they don't seem to really do much. There we go. There we go. Yes, we've done this bit. Oh, 
Fucking damn it. Reload! You're gonna hide... No. Crying. Oh, come on. Got some more incoming. Yeah, thanks. Is that it? Here comes a crane. Climb up. <sighs> Thank fuck for that. Who knows? I have to get that vaccine back. Don't worry, Jill, we're on it. We are on the case. Redacted project uh, project title whatever that is. Infinite use next gen generation railgun. Codane finger. Chief development nest two lead researcher Cornell Garner, assistant developer, United States Army. Ammo caliber 60mm, muzzle velocity 6000 ms. Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes Extreme firepower presides, provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. Use the feedback This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line, just give them the finger and problem solved. Packs the firepower we need. It would, e it would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may proved to be problematic in the field perhaps its platform could be refined it requires multiple power sources may be difficult to secure in practice could you consolidate to a single power source oh i wish give it of that uh Right, there we go. Organize.
Alright, I think we're good. Just in case, because I don't want to go through that again, Jesus. Gunpowder, we will get rid of. Okay. Hi. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Lovely. Have you have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But uh, you know how it is. City's is about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. But what about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. When Jill, when Jill says it's the last time, she means it's the last time. Here we go. Come on. Yes. It's over, bitch. Hungry? Bye-bye, Nemi. Good riddance.
There we go. All blue, all clear. We're now good to go. Suspicious contract memo. Contract overview. Received offer from clients seeking to use RC crisis to undermine and claim market share from Umbrella Corporation via a multi-pronged multi strategy. A. Sabotage Umbrella Corporation attempts to destroy evidence of outbreak to maximise culpability. Induce encounters between UC bioweapons and security forces, security forces and law enforcement and collect combat data to ascertain viability of tech. Report deployment of any new bioweapons, including Project NC specifications. Remuneration exceeds current offer from UC and takes top priority. However, the client has agreed to a grace period before using any of the deliverables so that payment from UC may also be collected. Ah, sneaky. He won't. Umbrella to run. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And there is my team. Goodbye. It's Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Yeah, go Carlos. <laughs> what about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? Wesker. I'll tell you. Get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're, You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. <laughs> That's our jail. That's him realising there's a second chopper.
finally over. So long, Mercy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes, too. I would end them, once and for all. Well, and that draws the Raccoon City story to a close. But the Resident Evil story continues. How did we do? Ah, eh, a B. B for it could have been better. Never mind. And that draws Resident Evil 3 to an end. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.